Hi everyone, it's John from EmoViewer360 here, and today I'm going to walk you guys through how to operate the MadVenture in conjunction to using the EmoViewer app. So basically what we're going to do here is we're going to create 360 virtual tours using the MadVenture camera. So first off, uh, you can add, this is the MadVenture or the MeSphere uh, set as soon as you purchase one. Um, you can actually purchase it on this link. It will be added on the description below. So to introduce you guys to the MadVenture or the MeSphere camera, what you'll see here is the power button. You'll also see the Wi-Fi button right beside it, shutter button, and there is also a micro SD card slot and a micro USB port slot. So you can actually uh, flip this open and key and place in the micro SD card. The camera, by the way, wouldn't shoot any images unless there is a micro SD card inserted into it. So um, if you guys are curious what kind of micro SD card we recommend you guys purchase, um, again, see the link, the, per the gear list link below. Um, so to operate the camera, all you guys got to do is just switch the power button on. As soon as it switches on, you'll you'll hear a couple of bleeps from the camera. And what you want to do next is you want to switch the Wi-Fi button on. So you'll notice that a Wi-Fi light here would be blinking. Um, that means that it's not connected to any device whatsoever. So before you connect to the camera, you want to make sure that you are logged in to the Emo Viewer app first. The reason why you want to make sure that that is so is because the MadVenture, I mean the Emo Viewer app requires internet access to log into your account. So as soon as you log into your account, it caches everything and um, even if you're, you don't have internet connection, you're fine using the, the Emo Viewer app. Um, so as soon as you're logged in, what you want to do is you want to connect to the camera. To connect to the camera, all you got to do is just go to your Wi-Fi settings, look for the network that begins with a QJXJ. Um, it, it could be QJ or something, but there should be a couple of serial numbers followed after that. It will ask you for a password, and the default password for the MadVenture or the MeSphere is 12345678. Just that. Once you're connected, uh, you want to mount the camera on top of your tripod, and this should be your um, camera setup. So, as you can see, there's a selfie stick on top of the tripod head. So, you, on top of that, that's where you want to add your your Madventure camera or your MeSphere. So, as soon as you have the everything set up you want to position the camera in the middle of the room or if you're doing outdoor shots uh, you want to position it on the uh, on the best uh, on the best possible place uh, you want to position it now mind you guys you want to point the front eye of the camera towards the uh, towards the best subject of the room or the area you're taking so the front eye of the madventure camera is where all the lights are 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 on so the back of the camera is where the mad v or the mad v logo is on so just just uh for everybody to think no duh. um okay so once you go to the emo viewer app what you're going to see is this this uh multi screen just click on okay got it and you'll see the dashboard you want to click on this button right here just to make sure that you switch on use hdr so just put a check there and then to create a new tour all you guys got to do is just click on new so just click on this new button right here and it'll ask you to name the tour so you want want to fill out the address if you want if you don't want to do that that's fine it's optional so you could just uh, click on check here on the lower right and as soon as you've done that the next thing you want to do is you want to select whether you're taking an indoor photo or an outdoor photo so say for example we're taking an indoor photo it's going to ask you to select what kind of room it is um, you can also custom name the room it should be somewhere down down the bottom of the list and you can also select what kind of floor name or the floor 
So the the number that represents zero represents ground floor, uh, first floor for one, second floor for two, and so on and so forth. Now you can always rename these floors right after you select them. So you can always rename them accordingly. Um, next up is to select the image source. So since we're using the Madventure camera, what we want to do is we want to select the Madventure or the MeSphere option here. But guys, if you're using a Rico, you can also select the Rico uh, camera. Or if you have a panoramic photo on your phone, you can also select Gallery. So Gallery is mainly used for those who are, use, who are using a different kind of 360 camera. And you are able to save your panoramic photos on your on your gallery. You can actually use, you can actually include that or create a tour by simply uh, taking those photos from your gallery. So once you have those on your, uh, once you have selected the image source or the image type, you can actually click on the check button on the lower right, and you will be created with a screen that looks like this so um this is a camera button all you guys got to do is just position the camera or the mad venture camera in the middle of the room then move walk out of the room click on this button and you'll hear a couple of clicks or beeps from the camera so while it's beeping you want to make sure that you're you're out of the room or not nothing's moving otherwise you'll see a ghosting effect on the pictures so as soon as you're done taking the picture you will see the image, which will look like this. And this is what we call a panoramic photo. So if you if you pan left and right, um, you'll notice it's not yet a 360 photo. It's still a panoramic photo. If you're satisfied with it, great. You can click on Save Panorama. But if you want to retake it, you can click on Retake the Photo and take the shot again. So uh, in this case, what you want to do is you can tap anywhere on this photo to add a hotspot. So just tap anywhere where you think the next room will be. So in this case, it's a hallway. Just click on, just tap there, uh, set the hotspot. And when you set the hotspot, you can choose whether you want to set the hotspot to an existing room or hotspot to a new room. In this case, you'll notice that the hotspot to existing room is grayed out because we only have one photo. So this what we're going to do here is we're going to add a hotspot to a new room and the process repeats itself all over again. So you can choose whether it's indoor photo or an outdoor photo, select floor, um, select room type, select image source, then click on check. And it'll bring, it'll come back to this page again. And you repeat the process until you've taken all the hotspots or you've taken all portions of the property or you've you've taken pictures of all rooms in the property now um for the second photo or the succeeding photos you will notice that you will be requested to add a wayback hotspot now what a wayback hotspot does is it connects your current photo to the previous room you came from because otherwise um mind you guys that when you're adding a hotspot into a room, you always want to add a hotspot back out. So when you're adding a wayback hotspot, all you guys got to do is to tap wherever you think the previous room is located and click on confirm hotspot and it will set it there. So once you're done doing that, what you can do next is you can add a, you can tap anywhere to add another hotspot to the next room. So once you've added another hotspot to the next room, you can now select whether you want to set the hotspot to an existing room, hotspot to a new room. And again, guys, just repeat the process over and over again. So if you click on hotspot to an existing room, it'll load all the pictures of the rooms you've already taken. And you can just tap on any room to connect that hotspot to that specific room. All right. so. Once you're done, what you can do is you can click on finish tour or you can click on, um, you can just click on this green uh, check mark on the lower right. If you click on hotspot to existing room, you'll see this picture 
where you can add additional photos. So say, for example, all if you guys don't want to add hotspots, you could just click on finish room and just add additional photos if you guys want. And you can add the hotspots later on, on your portal if if you wish. Again, there are a lot of ways you can actually skin a cat here. So uh, one of which is you could just carry on taking photos and add the hotspots later, or you can just add hotspots while you go. Um, so again, to get into this screen, what you can do is you can just tap anywhere on the photo and add a hotspot to an existing room and, and you'll see the screen, or you could just click on finish room to get to this screen. So there are different ways to how to, uh, to go about it, but once you're done and once you've completed taking or creating your tour, what you can do is, um, um, What's going to happen is a, a screen should greet you that looks like this. It'll ask you to upload the tour. So don't mind this. It'll show as, you know, turn off the Rico Theta or basically what it means is turn off the camera. Um, then up, just click on OK Guy it and voila, there you go. So you have your new tour ready to be uploaded. You'll notice that there is a status here that says needs to be uploaded to upload the tour just click on these three dots right across the thumbnail and a couple of options should appear in the middle of your screen just click on upload tour now you can select which contact information should appear on the tour or what un under whose name should the tour be assigned to so you want to select uh, whoever does it need to belong to then select the agent and once that's done all you guys got to do is just wait for the upload to complete make sure you're connected to the internet when you're con when you're uploading a tour and once it's done it should reflect on your portal dashboard all right so guys if you have any questions feedback suggestions feel free to email us at help at emoviewer.us or chat with us at www.emoviewer.com. Again, this is John. Uh, have a wonderful day.